a six year research trial in Clonakilty Agriculture College is comparing single grass varieties like this that have no clover to a mix of grass and clover swords. While the paddocks were sown last year, effectively this is year one of the six year trial. Some of the grasses are tetraploid and some are diploid varieties. Cows will graze the swards right through the year at all measurements such as milk, dry matter yield, fertility, live weights and grazing preferences will be recorded and analysed. Look at this for clover in a grazing mix in early May. The researchers estimate there is at least 25-30% to 30 clover in this sward now. Imagine what it will be like in autumn with 60-70% to 70 clover, a complete mass of clover. At sowing, there was only 2 kilos of clover per acre included with the tetraploid or diploid grass seed. And as you can see very clearly, there is very good clover content in the swards. There are four groups of cows grazing. One, a tetraploid only sward. Two, a diploid only sward. Three, a tetraploid and clover sward. Or four, a diploid and clover sward. There are 30 cows grazing each treatment stocked at 2.75 cows per hectare. So there are 120 cows on trial in total. The cows are a mix of Holstein Frisian, Jersey Cross and three-way Jersey, Holstein and Norwegian red cows. The target pre-grazing yield and graze out are the same as any good commercial farm. Aim for 1200 to 1500 pre-grazing yield. Clean it out well down to 4 centimetres and spread 250 kilos of bagged nitrogen across all treatments. Preliminary results from 2013 and 2014 show the grass and clover swords outperforming the grass only varieties. Where there was clover, there was higher dry matter yields and higher milk solids per cow. In summary, farmers have had a very topsy-turvy relationship with clover and grazing down through the years. The big question is can the clover be maintained in the sward and how will the trial play out for the next five years? The final result is the real result for the clover part of this trial. Irrespective of that, if we leave aside the grass clover results, it will be interesting to see the milk and grass dry matter difference in Clannacilty to show a farmer what would happen if he sowed down a paddock to a pure tetraploid or diploid variety. Up to now, and it still is best practice, a farmer is advised to sow only 40-50% to 50 tetraploid in a mix of three or four other varieties. Is this about to change?